Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Wow. Welcome back to my channel and um, this is B again, this is B Enriquez and I am your Wonder Woman. <laughs> um, so today's um, Thursday and I'm a bit late of my uploading. I know I have been uh, postponing my uploads uh, in my YouTube channel and this is what, this is uh, the reason for this video that I'm making so as you can see from the title I got really stuck you know do you ever have this feeling that like no matter what you do you just don't feel uninspired like you know your brain tells you what to do to get out of the rut but your body just felt really detached from it so that was that what that's what happened that's what happened to me for the past weeks so we are now entering the second extension of the ECQ and for me the first one was just fine but I know deep down it's not okay and there are a lot of things that I wanted to do but I can't do because of that but so I just tried to look at the brighter side of things um, but deep down I know that something's um, something's not okay that's maybe that's why on the second uh, for the past two weeks it was really tough on me and um, I didn't want to do anything I tried I tried there's no inspiration creativity as at the lowest point like really I cannot think I cannot write I cannot create graphics <laughs> so um, that was the past two weeks so uh, just last Sunday when it really took a toll on me that I felt so drained and I I'm not feeling bad physically but deep down it was just empty like I'm not feeling well I don't feel good I just want to rest like I really wanted to rest after I did the laundry I let my husband do the cooking and I just took a rest and I tried to sleep early that night and then uh, what I did was I just decided that tomorrow is going to be different tomorrow I will be better so that's what I kept telling myself and I I just keep repeating my gratitude uh, affirmation before uh, I just close my eyes and repeat my gratitude affirmation before I sleep so that's it I just after feeling so stuck for the past two weeks I just decided you know I decided I like no matter what I'm going to get out of this I'm going to pick myself up <laughs> so what I did is like the next morning I intended to wake up early but again I felt so drained the other day that I didn't want to wake up get up too early and I for, I forgave myself for and that. I just sleep early. So I forgive myself for not getting yeah. up early and just became grateful that I am alive that day, that I have another day to live. And that's the key. That's my number one reason or the number one, uh, the number one, that's the number one. <laughs> That's the number one way that I was able to cope up with that. It's gratitude. So as cliche as it as it may sound, it really is the reason. It was the reason why I was able to get out of it. Uh, so I felt, you know, grateful for that day, and then I just continued to move forward with my day, and I felt like there's really nothing happening much. 
still uninspired. I mean, your creativity is still very low. But I said, okay, it's just I just went ahead with my day and just feel grateful that I'm able to do these things. And then I read some books. I meditated. So meditation and breathing exercise really helped me a lot um, with this uh, with coping up. And next thing I did, like the next morning, uh, I just I woke up early and I read a book. I did not I, I I read a book and then I meditated. I prayed and then. I did my affirmation so it was really you know I did not push myself too much I just did it gradually so I forgive myself for be or for being that way I guess that's the key it's just to forgive yourself that it's okay not to be okay at times and that you can be better every day like you don't have to be you know instant like the next morning you will feel good no it's not it's not like that for me so for this week I just took it one day at a time so when creativity hits me so so when creativity hit me on Tuesday I just went for it like I did not stop until I'm done like I was able to create one month worth of of content for my Facebook page and that was really good so I felt really good and then the next day <laughs> I just you know take it lightly I've, I've got nothing to do so I just went on with my day and I just tell myself that yes it's okay not to be okay <laughs> and yes it's okay to take this lightly that you don't really have to push yourself too hard uh, for now, That's yeah. real, real you don't have sad. to push yourself too hard for now. So, yeah, uh, that's how I was able to, you know, today is Thursday and I feel really good. I was able to exercise for the most part of the week. So, that's one number. Another thing that helped me was to exercise and then just enjoy my day <laughs> i just enjoy my day i don't i don't worry too much like i know there are a lot of things um that's ahead of us like i know after all this is over bills are gonna come in so i didn't really no, have i, I, I don't want to worry time. about that for now because i know you that, know that the god will for <laughs> i know that god will provide for everything that and that I, I don't really need to uh worry about it and you know uh i just realized that um Jack Ma once uh, said, and it only made sense to me now that 2020 is about, you know, being. Uh, 2020 is not about putting businesses or something like that. I cannot remember, but I'll fla flash the image right here, or I'll just flash the image right there. And he says that it's not just about this, it's, it's about surviving. Although I don't want the term surviving because I feel like it's, um, for me, it's something like you have the lack of life or something like that. But for me, it makes sense. You just have to be safe for now. Be grateful that you are alive, that you are, you, you and your family, I'm just... I just went into that gratitude um, uh, space and feel grateful that, you know, like my kid is right here, my makulet na toddler is right here playing beside me, um, my family across the world, <laughs> all over the world are safe. So I don't really ha I don't really have to worry. I mean, I'm very happy that all of them are safe and my friends are all safe. So that's really something to be grateful for. So another thing that helped me was to 
you know um limit my screen time although for the past two days i have been on my cell phone and my laptop that's because i'm educating myself and also i have some other people to talk to yeah. but um consuming facebook was something that i try to avoid it's funny because i you know sell stuff on facebook nowadays but i mean the consumption is just how it, it just have to be limited for me i i am more into instagram now because i i filtered all the people that i see there and i only see positivity <laughs> so that helped me that really helped me a lot and also i try to um avoid watching you know korean dramas on series <laughs> so i try to avoid that and focus on just you know letting the day go by without you know drama <laughs> so another thing that helped me was i celebrate my small wins so um, i think that was on tuesday when i posted my small wins which is why i you know i was able to read to meditate to pray to you know to create one month worth of content that's not a small win for me that's really big <laughs> because creating one month of content in your in, in facebook and all across the social media is not an easy task it's really you really have to be creative so it's not um, it's not a small win that's really a big win for me and I really um, <laughs> thank myself for that <laughs> so and I also I was able to meet new friends so that was really something so every day even though I do not post it on on my social media I know for myself what are my small wins so each day it, don't, it doesn't really have to be something um, something big that's why it's small wins like for example I was able to do a 10 minute workout today uh, I, I was intending to do a one hour workout but since I don't have a yoga mat, it was difficult for me to do the whole one hour. But the 10 minute was really enough for me to keep me pumping. So that's just a small win for me. <laughs> so, yeah, my thoughts. Um, yeah, so I know I'm not alone in this. I know a lot of people are experiencing this kind of um, feeling that I'm feeling now. And for me... Uh, what I can advise is that, what I can tell you is just, it's really okay not to be okay. You just have to forgive yourself for not for feeling that way at that moment, for feeling uninspired at that moment. Because uh, if you give yourself time, it will really cope up. So number one uh, is to be grateful every day, to be in that gratitude space of your life. In everything that you do you have to be grateful in everything that you receive you have to be grateful for everything that you have you really have to be grateful so number two number two is breathing extra breathing exercise and meditation number three is exercise so 10 minute 20 minute workout will be fine um, number four is to avoid uh, to limit screen time and avoid uh, too much consumption of your Facebook because you know Facebook is toxic these days <laughs> um, number six uh, sorry One, two, three. so number five is uh, celebrate small wins and that's it that's how I was uh, how I was able to cope up with the feeling that I was feeling then to being happy now to being just fine <laughs> just going with the flow for now and yeah so i just want it it's, this is really not something that um i don't know what to call it i don't even know what to call this video i just wanted to share i just you know i sit here next to my daughter while she's playing and i just felt the need to share this with you and yeah so i hope you were able to feel inspired and get something from me and I hope I was able to help you uh, be in that space of gratitude and happiness so thank you again you know I always forget this but if you like this type of contents I do have a Monday grind show which is always uh, which I try to post every Monday <laughs> um, 
if you are interested in those kind of contents you please do check it out and consider consider subscribing to my channel and hit like if you find this video valuable and hit the notification bell so you will get notified for when i upload a new video thank you again for watching and i'll see you next time Thank <laughs> you.